Uh, what's up, YouTube? Today is a special day. It's game day. You know what that means. The new season is here. It's time to put in some work, man. It's crazy. I haven't played a game. Probably damn near over a month, man. I've been hurt. All preseason, I've been riddled. Really with injuries, man. I never had this many injuries during preseason, man. First, um, so I haven't really played all of September. Like, I've practiced a little bit, but not as much as I actually probably needed to. And um, it's about to be, hopefully, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm playing today for real. I hope I am, because <laughs> we got seven imports, so. Uh, Oh, only six can play, but I've been hurt. Uh, but I've been hurt. You know, most preseason, so I've been playing. I haven't played like the last six preseason games. I hope I'm playing, cause I'm. Uh, you know, I, um, I just want to get back to playing basketball. And my body's not a hundred percent. You know, I had a little knee issue. Um, got a bone bruise on my knee. And I think it started with there and everything else just started snowballing. But like I had a bone, like I during the playing basketball, one of these guys, uh, one of a guy I actually know, you know, I'm cool with him. He's a good dude. Um, toward in the game, like he ran through trying to get a steal and ran straight through the inside of my knee. Like I actually thought I tore something. Um, cause that shit hurt so bad I could couldn't even walk on it the next day. But it, it was just a deep bruise. And then. Um, <laughs> it's early, man. I'm sorry. It's early. I'm really just getting out of bed and um, getting ready to make some juice and shit. But um, yeah. So I thought uh, I thought I tore something, but it ended up being just a bone bruise, which was, which was good. But I think I came back from that too early. Tried to play, and you know when you when you're hurt, you start compensating, and you usually end up hurting something else. You know what I'm saying? So um. I feel like I was compensating and I put too much weight, or maybe put too much weight on my left side or maybe not, just compensating. And I ended up hurting my Achilles out of nowhere. Starts hurt, well not out of nowhere. I remember kind of tweaking something in the game, that same game I came back, but my Achilles was on fire the next day. Like I couldn't even walk. I've been rehabbing, hadn't been practicing. Been rehabbing that with our trainers and uh, doing all type of therapies to get that back right. And uh, I've started back practicing full contact, but not the entire practice, maybe a little over, probably almost two, almost two weeks ago. But then we had a lot of games, so we ain't been practicing a whole lot. Yeah, so hopefully today is the day that Keezy gets back on that court, suits up. So I'm actually excited. Whether it's today or not, I'm excited because you know, basketball has been my life for so long. It excites me, you know, regardless. Like, if I'm just watching a game or if I'm playing a game or just being around a game. So I'm actually excited today. I know today's gonna be a good day because basketball is involved and it means something today. It's not just for, you know, just, just for practice. It's wins and losses today. So, um, I'm about to get my day started. I'm going to check in with you guys throughout the day for sure. Show you guys, you know, just my day. Um, right now, I'm about to just eat breakfast. So, I'll get you guys later. Just uh, driving to work. We got film this morning. We got a film session and we got this old lady all riding her bike in the middle of the damn street. All right, we had a film this morning, shoot around, you know, walk through some plays and whatnot. So, um, you know, game day, that's usually how I go. You know, you have like a, a quick film session, um, probably 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how much the team, how much, uh, like what the, how many sets the team got and whatever and um, things they want you to focus on. So we had that, and then um, then we have a you know like a walkthrough. We walk through the plays, um, 
walk through the plays, then we get shots up. You know, some people might need more than others, so it just depends on you, for real, what you uh, what you uh, need to do. Um, you know, to prepare yourself. And then here, it's something different this year. So, like, in years past, you know, after all that, I'll just go home and, uh, you know, chill. You know, niggas do whatever the hell they do on game day on their own or whatever. But here in Venice, um, they all go to lunch together. It's a little weird. It's a little different. Like, nigga, you know, it cuts into your, your own time, I guess. It's a little different, but I guess it's something to get used to. Um... I guess it's like team building, camaraderie. So that's that. So after this, after shoot around, we have uh, lunch. And then I guess we go about our own ways after that. And then we got to be at the gym at a certain time. But I'll take you guys through all that today. You know, so you guys are seeing all that today. Um, so just driving to work. I probably got like another eight or so minutes. So I'll get at you guys when we get back. I mean, when I get to the gym. Alright, so I'm just getting to the gym. Uh, this our arena. Y'all can see. Like a little dome. Rare. It's our main sponsor. Uh, see the V's. Those are like all the imports and people who don't live in the city. We all get cars. Probably do a vlog on those one day. Team fans. Well, let me turn that music off before motherfucking YouTube. Talk about motherfucking copyright infringing. I don't know if y'all could even hear it, but uh but yeah. So here we are. Game day at the gym. Huh? Ciao, what's going on? Ciao. So it's my young guy Carlo right here, dude. It's silly. Carlo! Okay, mama. Um yeah, What's up, Val? Charlie, how you feeling, bro? Better. Better? Good. Good. How was the practice uh, last couple of days? It was uh it was alright yesterday. It was cool. Uh it's getting better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can handle the wall uh, practice. Yeah. Ciao, ciao, ragazzi. Ciao. So, yeah, it's game day, man. We got film first. Then, um, then we're going to court. Walk through. Ciao. Ciao. And then lunch. So, I'll get at you guys a little bit later, man. About to get ready for this. All right, just leaving the crib, getting ready to head to the gym. Season opener is tonight. Yeah, we're there playing some Jagged Edge. So season opener tonight, man. Get the nod tonight, so I'm suiting up for my first game in probably like a month for real. I haven't played an actual game. I've been hurt, so. Um, it's almost like a month, so I'm actually pretty juiced. I'm excited. Um, it's kind of a derby. The team we played yesterday, it isn't too far from us, so um, kind of a little derby game, I think. Kind of. Uh, should be a good game. I'm actually playing one of the homies, Akil, Akil Mitchell. Played together uh, last summer. We had, two summers ago, we actually met. Uh, playing in the TBT tournament. We was on the same team. Uh, cool dude. <laughs> but ain't no friends on that court, man. You about to get that work tonight. All right, so I'll get it y'all later, man. I'm out. Julian Stone, il pallone piccarol classico, come già detto, centrale. Tonut con Watt che arriva, poi Tonut attacca uno contro uno. Grande controllo del corpo. E da professionista, Fioi da tre punti, a segno l'oriundo della nazionale italiana. 
Cepel cerca posizione interna Udano che poi deve uscire di nuovo dopo con lì consegnato poi la palla che assist per Udano Michael Bramos si appoggia proprio a Austin Day tre secondi per andare al tiro gran difesa di Trieste non però fino all'ultimo centesimo De Nicolao tiene il pareggio aperto jump da tre punti Tre Nicolao, non ci sta. Di Nicolao, due e mezzo da giocare. Il pop-up di Day dentro la palla per Watt. Gran passaggio di Austin Day. La schiacciata di Mitchell per Tonut. Ancora Austin Day in punta. Situazione simile a prima. Arriva questa volta l'aiuto di Mitchell. Tonut contro Justice. Test back da tre punti. Tonut. 8 a 0. Michael Bramos. La ricezione di De Nicolao prova a alzare la pressione difensiva. Venezia segno con Watt per il più 3. 30 secondi al termine. È stato chiamato in zona d'attacco, quindi avrà 14 secondi per andare a tirare Trieste. Sarà un tiro veloce. Fino in fondo Fernandez. Watt dice di no. Finisce qui. I campioni d'Italia vincono l'esordio in Serie A. 78 a 73.